Yo, this your boy Double Up, and I'm back with another uh, uh, banger. And today, we about to get into that boy Brick Baby, man. We gonna see why he said Gucci Man got good pussy, man, which is weird as heck. But you know, before we start this video, I need you to like, comment, subscribe. You know I ain't gonna talk too much. Let's get right into the content. Let's go. So wait a minute. Bussy, baby oil, MAGA. What's going on? You having like a mid-life crisis? I mean, I don't want to like throw that evil on you. I want to be white, Adam. <laughs> there are many ways to be white. Many yeah. of the MAGA supporters out there are actually adamantly anti-baby oil. That's what I was saying. So today, I got a letter from Uncle Trump. $1,200? Stimulus? Yeah. The st <laughs> it, was, it, it was just a letter and he said that MAGA supporters are not with the flag. So... I got to drop my flag today, Adam. Really? So you decided... The gay run is over. You went gay and went ungay in the course of... Because all right, I'm going to be real with you. Trump, throughout his whole campaign, they bill him as being like super anti-gay. He went this whole campaign without really saying anything anti-gay. At one point, he draped himself in a rainbow flag and went on stage. This is a real thing you can look up. Drapo the ruler. He had texted me before that. He's me and ruler. Trump has... You know, we've been in... He texted me before that, like, "Hey, you should do some weird stuff like I did." Let me, let so me. I just, just went on one. Let's just start here. What were you thinking when you did the bussy thing? And I say that just saying that, like, I'm a white boy. I do gay humor all the time, and that was a lot, even from my perspective. And from the perspective of a dude who's really in the streets, <laughs> I don't know. So look, they clipped it great. Right. Because they, they clipped it before I broke character. I saw the full clip before I saw the clippage. Yeah, I saw the yeah, full Cam Capone you were clip. on me about it. You had been on me. I'm like, dang, Adam was on me for like two days before it even went viral. And then it just went right. viral. Remember you? How you feel about this dude saying Gucci Man got good pussy? That's crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? I guess he's trying to be Orlando Brown. How you guys feel? Drop it in the comments. I want to know. Because if you're from L.A., how do y'all feel about him being a game member and playing gay or whatever he doing you know what i'm saying he might he might be that you know what i'm saying i don't know but i want to know how you guys feel jumping in the comments let's get back into it you're like so what are you talking about gucci man i was Bussy. a little baffled in the group <laughs> chat <laughs> it's a little confusing and my thing was because i was on the stream with joe budden and whacking all them and loose and they're asking me about it they're like <laughs> like bro breaks your homie right i was like yeah that's my boy. What's cracking? You feel me? And they're like, well, what's up with what, what was he saying about Gucci Mane having good, you know, B word? And I was yeah, like, I think you said bussy. Bussy. we have Bussy in the title. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know. All right. Yeah. Gucci Mane having good Bussy. And I was like, well, yeah, I don't know. I think he was joking. Oh. But if he wasn't, maybe Brick knows something we don't. You feel me? He affiliated with the Wumpy Y MPA and all and it's, that. It's maybe so he knows much crazier something. than like if I said that about Jay-Z. Yeah. Could be awkward socially. Who knows when I'm going to run into somebody that's signed to Rock Nation, whatever. But I don't know him. But like in other clips from that same interview, you're making it clear that you guys just spend a lot of time around him. You know stuff about him that I've never really heard said publicly. Like you're you're kind of like describing Guop's character in a way that I haven't really seen done online. And one thing that stood out to me is that, and I realize that we're talking our asses off and not letting you talk, but no, it's good. It's like. The way you describe Gucci, I feel like, is the way that people prop me up to be. Like, I'm the biggest a-hole, narcissist, impossible to get along with. And then I hear you saying all that about Gucci, and I'm like, this sounds familiar. Yeah. I've heard many people <laughs> describe me this way, and I always feel like it's... Nobody described you the same way they could describe Gucci, man, Adam 22, Adam 16, <laughs> Huh, this guy is a character. Let's get back into it. It's a little bit of an exaggeration. Like anybody who knows me knows I'm a little prickly. You know, you can yeah. definitely catch me on the wrong side yeah. of the bed and I'm not the nicest guy. But I feel like largely, and that's why when I was on live stream and damn homie was describing me and she was like, Adam has never been anything but kind to me. He's a cool <laughs> guy. He's chill. He treats people all right. Came He's, on you know, I'm, I'm watching it. I'm like, yes, that, that is how I feel about myself. <laughs> but then I have all these clout monsters, and I realize I'm probably worse than I'm making it sound. But like, I got a lot of people making me sound like I'm kind of like the way that you were describing Guwap. So that's what I basically was saying. You remember I told you one day, I'm like, Guwap is 
was my favorite artist till I met him. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I, some people you wish you never Heart-breaking meet. Heartbreaking meeting. You'll never meet. You wish you never meet in life because it's like you like are God to me. Like at this point. And like, if you're going to get into the rap game, you're going to go through that process repeatedly. Repeatedly. Right. <laughs> repeatedly. So at the end of the day, what I was saying, because I was playing, because I didn't want to just be like, Gucci's a bitch. You know what I mean? Like, a bitch or like an asshole? An asshole. But it's a bitch. A, no, Gucci a gangster, though. That's what I'm saying. Gucci a gangster, but he's like, he has this bipolar twitch to him mm. to where he'll flip out and just get on some whole shit with the niggas around him. Mm. Well, he's you always seemed a bit bipolar. Even like the classic Gucci Twitter rants. You, yeah, uh, like yeah, all that. Like, like, I've seen that firsthand. So, like, I love, bro. Let me, let's me let get this. Still got hella love for him, right? But when they. You trying to backtrack? Somebody probably got on his his bumper. You get what I'm saying? You can't play with Gore like that and think you finna come back to the south because a lot of people love him. How you guys feel about his comments? Let's get back into it. It was saying he got rid of the whole roster. I just had a flashback of when he got rid of the whole roster. He didn't, but we all like shook. Mm. Like you get what I'm saying? Like Scooter when Scooter came home from jail, it wasn't the same love after he made Columbia. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, but people are always really quiet about how their relationship fell out with Gucci because there is a young Scooter song where he says, like, I'll probably never do another song with Gucci, man. And I was yeah. just like, I remember hearing it and being like, he's never said a bad word about Gucci, like, publicly in an interview or anything, but he just right there said he's probably never going to mess with him again. Yeah. And it's like, there's like a cognitive gap of like why exactly yeah. people feel like well, that. Like, it's like, okay, it was beneficial like everybody was like when gucci was going and it was a mental breakdown i watched it happen like i used to kick it and gucci can put a lie detector thing on i kicked it with gucci every day for at least 150 days this straight. is pre-prison correct no so when i came home no from i'm saying prison, for him this yeah is right like, i yeah. was with him all the way up until pre -freak well, out. he kicked us out the studio. Pre probably, 2014 freak out where he went away, yeah, came back, yeah, buff. Yeah, yeah. So Molly Allegedly Gasoline. Allegedly a clone. I'm going to yeah. tell you the exact project. Molly Gasoline. Yes. The, yes. The and I remember that. Project. Which is three different tapes. And yeah, I listened yeah. to the lean one the other day. Me and Leonard both working on our computers. And for some reason, I played that. It's a fairly unhinged project. It's, it's, yeah. it's, Yo, it's All those it's, tapes are hard. It's indicative of him being very all over the place but i had like a whole summer on my life where that was all we listened to was yeah. those tapes the yeah. molly tape uh, was my favorite by far so, uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> i don't so, been so. on like this shoot off this week yeah. 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 wait but wasn't that trap god that was trap that, god trap. i think yeah, so yeah yeah because yeah, yeah. i oh, listened to all those with my favorite song off of molly gasoline was version in maybe girl ain't no version oh yeah, yeah. i'll probably never listen no to version. another tape as much as i listened to those tapes because yeah. back in the bmx days we just that we would that boy Rick baby been hanging out with Adam twenty two too long, man. You can't just go in there trolling, acting like you Orlando Brown and stuff like that. I wanna know how you guys feel, man. Drop it in the comments, especially if you from LA. How do you feel about Brick Baby doing all this weird stuff? We just pick an artist. So this is a the million time. Times. Trap House three. That's Young the Dolph, one. He would go back to Memphis maybe for like three days at a time. He was with us for damn damn near the whole hundred something days straight. Uh, but we kicked it every Monday. We watched Love and Hip Hop together, Thousand Wings. That's we gay. did a couple of strippers go to Magic City. He was on house arrest. Yeah. So we was at the studio. So no, Stevie J was his favorite character at the time. So he like, man, Stevie finna come on, come on, you y'all coming? Like, woo, woo, woo. Like he used to throw Love and Hip Hop parties on Monday. What was so when y'all all got kicked out of the studio? What was that? Do you guys believe Brick Baby used to hang out with Gucci Man and all that type stuff and used to watch Love and Hip Hop for Stu J? That sounds weird, but let's get back to it. Sorry, what happened? No, so, all right, so let me go. So, Duke was the first one to get the band from the studio. Duke <laughs> don't be working that, 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 so he kicked Duke out. So, Duke, like, man, I ain't going up there. Now, me and Duke was like this. Like, can't nobody tell me nothing about Martinez Arnold. This is my boy. Duke's you hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, Duke, like, so... Now you making it rough because now we got to come up there and record. Uh, then Thug just like, I ain't going to. I don't want to just put everybody business up there. But uh, like the Thug stopped coming around a little bit. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like one day, I ain't even going to put that story out. Whenever Thug want to tell that story because I don't want to piss nobody off. There's a lot of people 
in the Atlanta cool kid scene who you've kind of like over time seen not really working with Gucci. And it's like, if you have that kind of mentality of like, well, why is he not doing songs with him? It would make sense for him to do songs with him given his legendary status. Yeah. You got to kind of fill in the blanks and be like, oh, okay, yeah, maybe yeah. they don't get along. Well, it, it's not even don't get along. He be tweaking out, so it's like like you might be around him, and then it's like how many times you going to deal with a motherfucker flash out for you, pop his ass. Like, you get what I'm saying? And mm. then it's Gucci. You can't pop Gucci. Okay, well, then I wear shit to Gucci. What we going to do? That's like shooting Nipsey. Like, nigga, like you just wear shit. You can't shoot Nipsey. It don't matter what he do. Well, someone did. I know, but I'm just like, <laughs> nigga, and look how the world views him. Yeah. Yeah. No, <laughs> it, it, and he's sitting there laughing about that. That's crazy, man. How you guys from L.A. feel about Adam-22 just like nonchalantly laughing about Nipsey getting shot? Let's get back into it. <laughs> and, and not like I, I think what I've always observed from Gucci, and it's kind of funny that you made the compar comparison to yourself, is that Gucci takes on a lot more than he's actually capable of mm. delivering. Gucci is responsible. Gucci's cosign is on every single rapper from the trap era to blow up from 2011 to 2016. And still in modern times, Period. a lot of these guys. You yeah. Know? yeah, yeah. But but at that time specific, I know he's still like, he's, uh, he dropped everyone besides Pooh Shiesty, right? That's uh, the thing. He dropped everyone besides Pooh. And Fujiano. Yeah. And Fujiano, okay. Because if but, he dropped Pooh, he would have probably had right. to drop Pooh. But starting with Waka, which is actually before, that was like 2008 or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like he They goes, fell out. How they, many times you know, has he rebranded OJ Brick Squad? Yeah. Right. And right. so icy. He had to give. They went at it about the brick squad stuff. So now it was 1017 Monopoly. 1017. So icy, boy. So icy record. Like, this is him rebranding a million times. I don't know if he's getting a new deal through like a distribution or something where he's getting money to sign new artists. But it's like, you're getting rid of all of these artists that you deal with. And I feel like it's not because of the worth ethic or the talent like you do be signing some like he signed too many people doing? though yeah, he yeah, signed, yeah, that's yeah. the thing like how can you really just because you give someone but it be that mental glitch that he got bro i'm trying to tell you like that makes sense they said that he asked for big scar chain back right like who are the fucking they right mind is getting the but chain you, back you definitely that believe man. that I don't know. I'm just right. saying. I'm just saying. I just don't want to put like the text unnecessary shit on him. But I don't wanna, yeah. no, no, I'm not trying to slander him. For but real. I'm just saying but that like was the old. series old. of events. Well, a couple years ago, yeah, yeah. That yeah was but old. that's the series of events that coincide. Like it goes with this story. I'm not trying to bash Gucci. Mm -hmm. Like it's just like he flips out. Like it's not healthy for him to sign artists. When's the last time you talked to him? Uh, when he came on, twenty what was that seventeen? Sixteen, that was 16. sixteen. He came on, yeah, like May or June of twenty sixteen. Yeah, uh, when he the I was with him East Atlanta Santa video. I was with him with the video with him Long Way and that whole first little tape that. All right, man, that's the end of that, man. I want to know how you guys feel. You know what I'm saying? He basically didn't explain why he said uh, he had some good pussy. I guess he was just trolling or whatever. But one thing about it, whatever you say has consequences. Consequences. You, he might ma mess around and see Gucci, and Gucci might not like that. Gucci might put them hands, paws, feet, and all. You know what I'm saying? But I want to know how you guys feel. Drop it in the comments. Help me get to 100 likes, uh, 50 likes at least, man. Like it don't cost nothing. Just like it up. You know what I'm saying? But until next time, I'm out.